few people okay. here um, and well, with this us. Is, this is what we're going to be doing today. This is this fine festive season. Um, robin, snow, holly, berries. But I've actually decided to take this little robin and put him up there because I think he he works better. So I've done a drawing from these photographs, and I mean, yeah, good example. Feel free to pick and choose your robins. <laughs> Uh, you don't always find exactly the right one straight away, so um, I often use the yeah, a combination of photographs and draw them up until I'm happy with the with the composition. By you the mean way, you you, you mean you didn't on mono this week? Is this sounding better? <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Elsa, Sarah Mortimer, Denny uh, Davies, a lot of familiar names this morning. Welcome. Um, you mean you weren't sort of sitting in the snow with your camera oh, yeah, no. ready to no. to shoot a robin? <laughs> right. Um, so what I've done, I've drawn this up in a bit of a kind of square format this week, which is quite nice if it happens to be late, late minute sort of Christmas cards or presents. But what I've done, if you look, that's the full size paper, which is quarter imperial. Somebody was asking, and I forgot to say the size. Uh, but what I've done, I've ripped up some bits of paper, and I'm just literally I've drawn a square, and I'm just going to take those up, that's difficult, round the edge, um, because that will just give a little bit of protection to the sides of the picture, so it means you can paint wildly across the scene without getting um, paint on the edge. So that will just keep a nice frame around there. So this is scraps of paper, a bit of extra tape and lightly pressed on. If you're worried, you might want to put the tape on a board and rip it off because sometimes if the paper's a little bit rough or the tape's a bit strong, you might find you'll rip your picture in half, which is never a good moment. Anyway. What I've done, what I'm going to try and do is like an out of focus background scene. So I have dampened the paper a little bit, but I will now just literally take a large brushful of paint. We're going to do a little bit of cerulean blue with a little bit of cobalt blue. It's... And I'm just going to mix that up. It's not too much, we don't want it too strong. And I'm just going to kind of do a mix of colour and water. In fact, let's just start with a bit of water. Ideally, I'd be working horizontal. I have done one earlier, which is reasonably successful. Um, and I'm just going to kind of put that on. It probably will run down the page. But what I'm going to try and do, have a little bit of blue and then a little bit of that. So we just kind of... So it really is quite watery on yeah. top of... So it really is wet on wet. Yeah, let's do that. It, this is... We're trying to get that sort of nice, out-of-focus background, wintry sky. There we are, a bit of that. Um, that's a little bit stronger here and there. And you kind of, it's a little bit experimental. We've got experimental here this morning. I'm trying to paint around the things. Let's have a look. Clean brush, bit of tissue paper, and uh, just want to soften those edges off. Bit of that. I'm a bit late on the. <laughs> okay. I just want to soften the edges off. So the idea we want that kind of, it's a, one of those hazy, wintry days, a little bit of watery sunshine, um, so not too strong. Let's, let's dab a few little areas out of there as well. And then as we come down this side, a bit more water, kind of roughly avoiding the holly leaves and the, the robin, but I'm going to put a little bit more blue in here and there, and a little bit of green down here now as well. So we've got the suggestion of um, perhaps a distant holly bush Slightly out of focus in the background. Um, well, holly normally grows in amongst a whole lot of other things as well, doesn't exactly, it? So. Yes, yes, I hope so. Just pretty loosely, really. I might even put a little bit more on there, but we're trying to just have little pools of green, little pools of blue, and that's quite, quite what he's done there. And I might just show you the one I've done earlier. There's a bit more blue up here. I mean, you can, while it's still damp, you see, you can kind of still work it. We, we want it reasonably strong, but not too strong. Yes, once again, it's that ideal combination. A little bit of that away. That's not too bad. So that's good. That's just, at this age, it looks a little bit vague, but on the actual photograph, it's kind of grey, probably a sort of snowy scene, but I thought we'd add a little hint of colour with some blue sky and... That kind of thing. Um, let's have a look. Here's what I did earlier. 
don't normally get this out. Um, so you get the idea, we're going to drop, by making it a little bit stronger, we can get some white snowflakes on there later on. But let's go back to the, uh, the real thing. Live, once again, here we are. So that's got a kind of bluey, cloudy, holly, soft focus background. And that's sort of set that tone up. And um, any questions from the camera person? No, the camera person's feeling kind of mute this morning. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to dry that off. I think, I think it must be the grey weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not very Christmassy. Although, actually, I don't mind it. I actually want to get the whole fire going and uh, get a look in front of an old movie. Maybe that later on. I've still got a presentation to write. Oh, yeah, I've got some work to do too. Ah, oh, well, last week, the last week. Uh, right, what should we do next? I think what we're going to do now is a slightly smaller brush. And I'm going to put a, all this kind of, let's go for Sat Green, I hear you cheer. I don't know if you read that story about Sat Green I posted from Windsor and Newton. Um, quite an amazing story, I wish I could remember the details now. Can you remember it? Sap green came from where? Quite an unusual... Well, it literally plant. was the sap of a particular plant that was used and kept in, in bladders. That's right, yes. Tubes are so much more popular these days. But um, yeah, so... It was actually, it, in those days, it was, a, it was a wet pigment rather than a dried pigment when it was first. And I suppose over time, as dried pigment became probably easier to transport, etc., they would have dehydrated it. But, I mean, the, the but originally... Was the, was the tube of paint. Yeah, but originally it literally was the sap of a particular plant. Yeah. Okay, and on that note, I'm putting some, yeah, sap green. I'm just going to... So is that literally pure sap green with a bit of pure water? Pure sap green with a bit of water. And I'm going to just put some on here as well. Oh, I would have thought that was a hooker's green. No, it's quite, it's just a strong... Um, no, I mean, I'll as see. in the leaves, because holly leaves are normally well, quite will, dark. you'll see. What I'm oh. going to do, I'm just, as you can see, we have got snow on these, but I'm going to cheat or use a uh, mixed media result. I'm going to use some, um, see, uh, some gouache white to actually put the paint on top, the snow on top. So at the moment, I'm just putting a little kind of rough... And what is your reasoning behind that? What snow goes on top of stuff? No, I mean, yes, you, I mean, you can use masking fluid. Here's one which has gone dry, masking fluid. And you can paint over all the white areas you want and then remove that to give you the snow effect afterwards. But I kind of like the idea of painting the snow on like it's actually snow. We don't care. Um, so I'm just literally with relatively small brush number eight. I'm putting in these holly leaves. This is once your background's dry, so they kind of stand out. Just a little bit kind of rough look. I've got a spaniel who won some attention. Ah. Give me quickly. For you who, those of you who haven't met our spaniel, is our Milimu, who insists on lying as close to us as possible when well, we're doing this. I'll make trip over in a minute and fall on over the dog. Okay, so yeah, I'm just carry on. This is all very, very quick, really. Now, you will be getting this as a Christmas card um, in some shape or form later this week. So is this um, a sort of a fast session today? A fast session today. It's think... coming home early. <laughs> Definitely. So that's still damp. And I hear them cheer. If you look, there's there are some dark areas. In. I mean, yeah, holly leaves are pretty dark. Aren't they? So I am going to now, while that's sort of damp, let's just dab in some... Um, Hooker's green. Ah, there we are. Just sort of... Ah, Mr. William Hooker. Yeah, that's Mr. William Hooker. He's back. I'm just... It's quite nice. If this is still damp, you see, he gets quite a nice sort of leading into each other. Just sort of blurs and blends a little bit. I mean, I, my comment today is, is actually you often are not a person that does a lot of the sort of bleeding and wet on wet and... Yes, I'm getting a bit slapdash. It kind of worked. I think it worked. If you can maintain the speed during a painting, you get a kind of freshness about it. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Um, you mean rather than just a mess? Rather than just a mess, yeah. I mean, you'll find, hopefully, this will give a nice kind of holly colour, and then eventually you'll put some fine line work in just to give the veins of the leaves. Um, and then, of course, they... So it keeps it quite so sort of random. The key thing, I think, is the... Is a shape, so it's still, oh, it's still a holly leaf. Um, 
you know, we've done quite a careful drawing. And then we just get a few little edges there. Got a few people that have joined us a bit late. Um, but again, you this live will be available on the Facebook. Live will be available on Facebook, I think, ad infinitum. Plus a marvellous edited version um, with music and interludes. And we'll be on YouTube by the end of the week. I'll send a message out. Uh, uh, for those who just joined us, I've done a very watery background with a little bit of cerulean blue and cobalt blue. And then I've got some very soft sap green in the background, just to give that out of focus, wintry feel. I've put some sap green onto the leaves quite roughly and onto the branch here. And I'm now putting a little bit of hooker green, a bit darker green. Um, onto the still wet leaves. Onto, yeah, the, yeah, and let's put a little bit down here as well. This is the, it's now going to be dry. So I'm just going to put that down there like that. That's good. And that, because that original wash is a bit dry, I'm just going to put a damp brush on it. That's green, isn't it? Just sort of blend it out. There we go. That's not too bad. So this is, um, we've got, I'm going to, like I said before, I'm going to put the snow on afterwards and on top of the berries. So we'll just put this kind of branchy shape in now and some, some of the holly leaves and so on. And we'll come back to that with some finer details. I might just, just retouch. I mean, I tend to, you know, once, once these lives have finished, some of you may have noticed, so I, I will go back and finish the picture off. With, and you'll see the more finished version in the, um, the YouTube video. So uh, definitely worth tuning into to see the real result. Anyway, how are the lights looking? We want flashing lights. Come on. They were flashing were just they? now. Yeah. So the people, people want to get in the, in the swing. There we are. Let's have a little bit about that. Let's come out. Oh, look at that. If we get any complaints, I'll turn them off. All right, so let's have, I don't know what we'll do. That's, that's the greeny bits done. Now, if you look, we've got a little bit of tone on the robin. So I'm just going to mix a kind of cerulean blue with a touch of Payne's Grey. They're beautiful birds, robins, aren't they? I mean, you can see why yeah. they've captured people's imaginations. They just, yes. so this just one, so cute. Let's just, so this one turns out beautifully. Okay, I've got a little bit of, um, a little bit of Payne's Grey mixed with, um, in fact, what I'm going to do, this is the one I'm, it's just got a little shake to it there. So that's just clean water. This is this is a touch of blue and and paint's grey. So I'm just going to okay. give a little little fellow a little bit of shape. Yeah, we're going to paint over the top of that. There's a little bit of colour there. A bit of tallow down there. Do you yeah. always try and have two containers of water, two or three, so that you've got one on hand that's always kind of clean? So that's, like this, where you Wanting yeah, to put idea. a clean colour in. Yeah, what I tend to do is um, wash the brush out with one. Yeah. And then dip the bit of brush into the fresher one before you go into the paint. Otherwise, it does tend to. It just, I, I see you've got a secret one just hiding around. Secret one there, just that's the emergency one. Yeah, it's just in case I do need even more colour. Save me wandering off to the bathroom. Uh, now, like I said, normally I would just relax now, have another mince pie, another glass of mulled wine. And let that all dry, but we're going to check, we're going to speed it up a little bit. By, uh... I'm going to pour myself a bit of tea. Pour yourself some tea. Can you do that? And hopefully, you don't. I'm going to hold it. Yeah, go for it. So just drying this off. Look at you. That's that's uh, multitasking. Do that. Holding the holding the camera and. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that. Down. Now what do we do next? I can't remember. I think it could be time for a little red breast. Let's have a go. I've mixed up some oh, mess of colour here. Let's have a look. Just clean that out a bit. Point one is a little bit of a cadmium red and a little bit of cadmium yellow. Just to give it for some reason this this red breast is a bit of an orange breast, but I'm gonna um I'm gonna put um some of this colour in here. Let's have a look. This is quite quite strong now. Um, let me just get a bit nearer. Hang on. Up in, uh, 
You're putting them on the bottom. Um, so that's a, you said cadmium red a, and cadmium yellow. Yeah, cadmium red and cadmium yellow. It gives us look, that's So it's a nice, nice orange. Yeah, I'm just going to put this a little, just put, paint that carefully around there. And then we'll come back, come back to the uh, beak and the eye later on. I'm just sort of getting this sort of, almost, it's almost a little bit muddy. I want to keep it a little bit, a little bit fresher now. It doesn't look muddy to me. I mean, he's not, he's got a little bit of brown in his orange as well. You're right, he has, isn't he? Okay, in that case, we'll. So this is going on relatively thickly now. Um, I'm just sort of flicking it out. So we're going to, we'll come back and uh, blend that a bit more in a minute. So just sort of quite fine, fine brushwork going on. Yeah, it's funny how you get distracted. I suddenly can see, I can see the pool just out of the corner of my eye and I suddenly sat there thinking, have you put Ivernage in the pool yet? Uh, Ivernage? Have, 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 uh, have you winterized our pool yet? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how much, how yeah. far into winter are you waiting, it to, yeah, uh, waiting well, for it to yes, go? I'll, this afternoon, darling, I will be uh, out there in the, the, in the pool. Yeah, it's not been getting it. It's just bleak out there now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's got a little bit of that going on. We're just sort of, I've got a kind of clean, damp brush, just blending that in a bit. I mean, it's quite a hard edge, but I've just wanted to soften that a little bit. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, and then, now, I want to keep that, that relatively sharp difference between the red and the brown, so I'm going to just quickly dry that off. I suppose, I mean, the challenge on him as well, he's... A bit of a round object. You kind of, a bit you're kind of doing a bit of a ball, aren't you? You you need to be yeah. careful that you don't land up with something that looks kind of round and flat, round rather than flat. round so, and. Yeah, a bit more three dimensional. Which yeah. is why I kind of put that little shadow in there first, just to kind of. So this is a lighter area. Yeah. And this is a little bit darker. I don't know if that comes over. No, it does. Um, so now I'm going to go for this kind of sort of bird sienna. And a brownie mix, um, just to put that kind of brown area on. So we've just had Alan's just joined us. Um, as you can see, we're already halfway through the painting, Alan. But if you want to go back once we've finished this live, it'll actually stay stored on our Facebook page, and you will be able to go back and and watch it at your leisure. Absolutely, yes. No need to watch the whole thing through. Is this it? Okay, so yeah, just to recap, a little bit of watery, out of focus sky, cerulean blue and sap green. Let that dry. And sap green and hookers green, giving that kind of branch and the leaves a good shape. And now a bit of cadmium red and cadmium yellow on the red breast itself. And now I'm just putting a red you call it, thin brownie colour, which I will thicken up. Now that your thin um, your brownie colour, is it a specific colour? It's, it's a kind of mixture of burnt sienna and burnt amber. Okay. Um, putting it on, actually I'll make it a little bit more burnt sienna. It's a bit, bit of a nicer, friendly colour. So it's slightly, slightly redder. Because we can come back and add some dark in there later on. So I'm literally kind of just brushing the, the feathers in here. This is where it's good to have a, make sure you've got a nice drawing, otherwise you're your little um, robin might become a little bit too fat. So I'm just sort of putting that in there. So you're kind of just stroking down a bit, aren't you? Little, yeah. Little it, short strokes down. Yeah, almost like as the kind of feathers are there. It's just to kind of push that one down. That's like a, um, what are you going to do about that lovely, soft, Brown well, shadow there. underneath the. I don't know. I've, just, I've forgotten that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish I'd brought that up. Oh yeah. Well, that comes later, darling. Um, in fact, what I'll do. You're just gonna. Is... You're gonna have to buy yourself a a, a, a really good tripod set because tripods don't talk back. <laughs> That's a good suggestion. I bought myself one for Christmas. Okay, I've, I've, I've mixed up a little bit of that sort of uh, burnt sienna with a little bit of red, a little bit lighter. It's sort of go. And it's kind of grainy as well. So I'm just. Yeah. It's gonna. We're going to go darker into the 
into the feathers there anyway. So I'm just making that a little bit. There we you can dab okay. away at that a bit, can't you? Yeah, I've got a clean brush, clean damp brush, just soften that edge off. You want to keep that nice sort of white area there. And then we're going to come in a bit of grey on there. Tricky. So this is the tricky part of the it's just kind of having those nice blends, keeping the dis different areas as well. So if in doubt, just let it dry, do the softer colours first, and then let that dry, and then put the darker colours on, unlike what I just did. All uh, right, okay, let's have a look. So next thing, I think we need to, that should be getting on well, aren't we? I think, oh, let's have, while that's drying, I'll put some. Gosh, we are going to yeah. be going home early, well, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, we're going to have um, cadmium red, and I'm going to go to these let's have a look. little holly berries. Holly berries. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Yeah, just put that down there. Temporarily. Yeah, so this, I'm literally, I've got, I'm literally going to go a little bit over so the top with the. Let's see if we can actually. No, don't worry. What? I'm, I'm just finding a position that I can. Okay, I'm just going to leave a little bit of highlight on there. And yes, the berries are probably slightly more cherry red, but I've kind of. Keep a little bit of white on here and there. This is like the highlight. And then I'll go back and... And again, that sort of he helps make make it look round, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. And I'll, you can see I'll put a bit of darker, put some alizarin crimson on in a minute. But that's just... Okay, they haven't all got their highlights there, so you might want to just have a change it a little bit. You can always add a little bit of, a bit of white on there. Anyway. Brush that brush out. What have we got? So there's a little bit of, of lightness just kind of reflected underneath there, just helps give it a little bit of brownness. Very good. And then um, I've got some. Well, I'm going to just going to go right in so yep. that people can have a. Here we are. And I'm just going to put a little bit of. Um, out again. This is a little bit of. A bit too strong. That's a little bit of. A lizard and crimson. We just want to give a little bit of extra shadow in there. So we've got the kind of bright red and then the dark red, basically. That's still a bit wet in it. Here we are. I might come back to that. We can kind of, this is quite good. You kind of just get the main shapes and feel in there. We can always come back and find. Fine tuning. In fact, the, the highlights aren't really so bright, so I'm just going to soften them back a little bit. There we go. So that can be um, drying off. The that little fella is getting dry now. So what I can do, I'll just put a little bit of tone on the beak. So I'm going to go for a smaller brush again. <sighs> you got your tea? <laughs> Where's mine? <laughs> You're working. <laughs> right, later. Okay, so we've got the, the green, we've got the holly leaves in, we've got the branch in, um, and we've got the basic colours in with uh, the robin here. And let me go back up to the robin. Let's, let's get this one from up you go. Let's get it right at the top again. And what we've got, you see, we've got the beak and the eye, and then we've got some kind of detail in there. So I'm going to put a, a kind of burnt umber with a little bit of Payne's grain, and that will... It's just... I've got quite a fine brush here, one of the... Um, it's quite little travel brush little travel brushes. brushes. I love these. Yeah, they're very good. Um, so once again, very carefully, a nice roll your brush to a nice point, and just carefully try to not get overwhelmed by the flashing lights, and just sort of putting that... Design. Just see very carefully, just Ooh, oh, push that in. And then that's what you don't want to do is suddenly have like a great parrot's beak. Um, so just take your time here. I'm just going to blend it a little bit on the edges. Hold my breath. There we go. Yeah, you've done it. You. I can lie down now. Pinocchio, the little um, the robin. Yeah, right. It's got quite a long beak. Yeah. And um, okay, so now we've got that kind of mid-tone in there. What I'm going to do, if you look at the beaks, there's like little sort of floppy bits and 
for this. I'm just going to kind of go over here. I mean, you can spend, once again, this, this is a little bit stronger now. I'm going to just flick it out. I've got a few little tufty, tufty bits. You know, you can, I've just done a painting of a, of a dog, my niece, and uh, that was a huge thing. I'll try, I'll, perhaps I'll show you that as well. It was for the, we the wedding that never happened, The wedding that never it? happened, alas. Well, wedding happened, but, but not with the rest of the world attending. Um, so now, yeah, I'm just putting some nice big, keep it kind of going in the kind of feathery, feathery way, feathery. What you don't want to do is make it look like a hairy robin. They, they've long since died out <laughs> since uh, uh, prehistoric times. Um, this is kind of, yeah, I'm just sort of getting a little dark one. These will... Blend in there quite nicely. It'll soften down though, won't it? Yeah, what you don't want to do is just have it sticking out all over. So I've just got a few. Hello, Scotland. Scotland's here. Excellent, Scotland. Hello. And Tina Lyle. Tina, hello. The, the talented Tina Lyle. Well, she's a fantastic musician friend of ours, that is. There we are, good. Yeah, who's multi talented. Multi talented, but not an easy year for our friends that are in the music business. It's. Um, been Indeed, for, a lot of people. for anybody in the entertainment um live entertainment industry it's been hell live entertainment hey. live entertainment <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that's what the world has come to that's the problem yeah. sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> never mind the big international concerts you're stuck in our studio there we are so now i've just put some darker in and i'm just with now with a damp brush i'm just going to kind of blend that in a little bit just to give it that sort of look. But try and keep the the red strong. You know, Rod did a little Rod being red breast after all. But that's what do you think? Is that okay? Yeah. Well I've got that in my hand. I mean I can I can only say it's okay, can't I? You're you're doing it. Because I have one to... over Christmas you'll be doing that one <laughs> and I'm gonna film you. <laughs> I'll talk you through it, it'll be fine. Um, okay, let, well we've got a dark brown, we've got a dark browny grey in there. Let's get some little uh Little legs in that, little, once again, nothing. Err on the side of caution. Um, you know, they're, they're not big, <laughs> big feet, are they? Um, and you don't want it like the, the Wicked Witch of the North, which this one's becoming. Um, I think I'll just stop there. Um, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I think that's pretty e good. E phone ho. Oh, careful, <laughs> eh? It looks like an E.T. finger. Thank you, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Uh, about this furloughing. Yeah. <laughs> We've done this soon. Um, so, let's have a look. What have we got? We've got, so we've got our little chap in, kind of. I'm going to blend that a little bit more, put some more feathers in. Uh, we've got the, I think what I was going to do is see this kind of, the veins on some of my holly leaves. I'm going to try and do that. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white. And some, so it's white gouache, so it's opaque. So I'm going to mix a little bit of um, sap green in there. So it's almost white, but not quite. So all being well, if you look, even if you just get these in, it's quite good just to sort of flick. Oh, that's a bit thick. Um, just sort of flick. Sorry. Flick those in like that. It's a little bit cartoony, but we're going to cover some of it with snow. So, so it shouldn't be too watery, otherwise it won't um, stand out stand against out. green. Yeah, so I'm just going to, there's a little rim around the edge, I'll try a little bit of that. It's not really going to stand out. I'm, I'm going to come back in later on, I think. And, oh, I think that looks fine. You think so? Oh, okay. Thanks, Tina. Loving the fairy lights. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. We're like Our Christmas little, effort. We're like a little atmosphere here. No expense spent. How much would these cost? How much were these lights? I have no idea. I bought them last year. Oh. But actually, no, they weren't cheap. Oh, they weren't. oh. <laughs> there we are. That was why now. Um, okay, we've got a bit more in there. Let's have a look. How about... I'm going to line that up a bit later on. But while that's drying, I'm going to um, take a bit of white. Are we going snow? Um, that is snow. No, I'm going to put a little bit of just some little flicks in here. Look, 
it's a little bit damp, so I might have to come back on that. Yeah, it's a bit damp. What's good is when you let that dry, come with a bit of white and then just flick a few Hair little... dryer. Hair dryer, yeah. yeah. Hair dryer alert. All right, let's go. But yeah, you want to, it's all about, yeah, getting things, painting them wet, letting them dry and then flicking over the top. That's because I wanted a sip of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Some mid tones in there, and I've done drying it all off now so the, uh, the lighter colours will be able to go on top. No, maybe. Okay, so now I might have some fresh water. You see, that's where my third bottle comes, third jar comes in, keeping you white, super fresh. Which um, so I'm just literally going to flick in a few little... That's literally this. Can I just scroll in on... Because you can uh, actually yeah. see those little... You can if you shadow, get a shadow out of the way. Come on here, back away a bit, back off. There we are. Yeah, there, so these little little flicks here, look. And in fact, while I'm at it, um, let's, let's get a... What's quite nice is the little fellow's got some... Um, you decided to eat... It's a fella. Is it? Well, yeah, maybe. Do you know, with Robins, put a few, uh... is it the males? Only the males that have a red breast. So I wonder I if anyone so, can. Um, yeah. Can anybody fill us in on that? So I'll let you. I'm taking a uh, just a, let's have some. See if you if you like, you can make your dark blue a little bit stronger, so your white little sort of the odd little snowflake will stand out. Likewise in the in the green here. So what I'm going to do? I've got this. White mixed up. <laughs> it's, yeah, this is it. Isn't it? It's, it's already got a little bit of murky brown in there. Really, it should be absolutely pure white, snow white, it should be, with a fresh brush, fresh water, and then it'll go on. So I'm going to literally just let's have a look. Uh, let's put, uh, where are we? Let's put a few. The, the nice thing is you could, because you, Monica said actually, it, it, she's going to allow me to use white gouache because it kind of looks like snow, doesn't it? You paint it on so yeah. thick. It kind of comes on. So I'm literally just putting this on. You can, I don't know if you can see how. That looks like a Christmas pudding. Thick that is, yeah. Christmas pudding. We've got that whole thing going on here. The, the thing to do is, is keep it nice and thick, the paint. Um, otherwise, it, it's just it's, it's doing it here. It just starts to pick up the green underneath. If, if that does happen. Just dab it on thicker. Let it dry first. Let it dry oh, okay. first. And then um, let's have a look. I mean, we could go on. Literally till Christmas doing this, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what um, what we can do. There we are. I might put a little bit of shadow on that. I think by it will actually take a little bit of tint in from underneath. See, it's like it's not pure white. Yeah. But let that dry, and then you can paint on top of it again, nice and thick, and that will give it a little bit of shape as well. So I'm just putting a. Obviously, there's a huge amount of snow on some of these. I want to try and still have the. The shape of the leaf. We have another shape. Australian who's Hello, just Australian. joined us, Margaret Price. Margaret. Hi. Good day. Or is it good evening, presumably? Um, hope you're all well down there. I see uh, Val has got a new website. We'll be um, giving that a little plug later in the week. But it uh, looks really good. Hope you're all well. And uh, I don't expect you're looking at any snow, are you? This I, is. Um, I don't think they ever see snow down no, no, I mean, well, there. Are, I'm sure in there Canberra. are parts. Nuts. No, there are parts of it. You, there are places in Australia that get snow. Yeah. But I don't think Canberra is one snowy of them. Mountains. Is it snowy mountains. Um, right, so yeah. No, that, it's the Blue Mountains. The Blue isn't Mountains. It? That was a trick. Not the snowy mountains. That was a trick. But they probably are snowy. <laughs> yes, because I know my 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 family has um, has been skiing in Australia. Okay, I don't know yeah, how. Yeah. I don't think it's quite alpine skiing, but. I'm sure, it's got it. I'm sure, it's good though. Okay, so now you can see I'm just adding a little bit of thick white snow falling uh, onto the onto the branches, and you know you you don't want to put too much on there. I think it's just having um, I mean in the photograph, if you look at the photograph, it's actually the poor poor little robin is absolutely snowed under, but I think that's almost too much. The great thing is that by putting your own snow on, you can decide how much you want. I might put a bit more. 
Um, but I'm going to perhaps later just come back and sharpen some of these. Let's have a bit more on these guys. Um, well, Tina, more. it'd be great to see you if you made it over. And um, Yeah, there's not a lot of travelling going on right now, isn't there? I'm up for, um, I'll put my, my name down for a, an a Reiki appointment. The, um, the one you did that time was amazing. So, meanwhile, meanwhile, back in the snowy robin scene, I'm going to mix up just, I'm going to show you just one leaf. I'm going to mix up some hooker's green, so the dark green, with perhaps, let's have a little bit of that cobalt. Bring a bit of blue know, into it. A bit of, bit of cobalt blue, Ooh. a bit of hooker's green to give you a really nice rich green colour. I'm just going to say that this could all go horribly wrong, but I'm, I'm just going to put a few little, I'm going to just sort of sharpen it up in there. There's a danger, of course, that it's it's too much. You, you can decide whether you want to put, I'm just going to put a little something like that, a little bit here. It's amazing, actually. I noticed it's, um, the image today is a lot darker because we haven't got Particularly good ambient light coming in oh, from coming the, window. the window. Right, yeah. Um, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. I just want to put a. You don't want to go round everything, but I just wanted to just sharpen it up here and there. That kind of way. That's. Yeah, you can see. Actually, actually the leaf is quite dark, isn't it? I might come back to that. Um, Later on, I'll have a think about it. But yeah, you can play with some slightly darker green in there just to give it a bit more shape. Um, it's, what's quite actually, if you look at the photograph, what's quite nice is the it's quite dark behind there, isn't it? Which makes these stand out the edges. Mm. So I might just risk once all this is dry, I'll go back and put a darker, maybe a darker blue color in the background there to see if I can get that to um, bluey green. A blue, no. I, I want it blue because okay. so the green, the green thing, stands out. If you make it dark green behind there, you've lost it. You've lost your uh, holly leaves forever. <gasps> Shows so, my ignorance. There we go. See. Okay. So keep it blue. Keep it blue in here. I think. Yeah, I'm going to go back and put a little darker blue in there. And um, in fact, how are we doing for time? We are. It's ten past. Only ten past. Oh, let me just try. No, oh, no, 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 no. You still want to keep your reputation, don't you? Oh, that's long since in tatters. Um, let me just... Uh... So, are you doing this quite a... Is this, again, just some cobalt blue? Cobalt blue and a little bit of cerulean blue. Okay. A uh, piece of handy tissue. Let's see, it's quite dark. So I might just... I said it might all go horribly wrong. But... but in theory, you should have done this before the time, hey? Yeah, I mean, yeah, to keep that sort of smoothness. I mean, I'm... I'm going to put a, a bit of blue on and a damp brush before it all goes too, too solid look. And you're just going to soften those edges off a little bit. Could work, isn't it? Kind of works. Yeah, yeah um, it kind of works. It'll soften up a little bit. I might just put a little bit of blue in there. So you've got that kind of continuity. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, well, it's just background, just, uh, isn't it? Move extra bluey sky. You see, then I'll be able to, once that's dry, I can come back and put some nice light edges on the, on the actual holly leaves. The thing to do is not let it, okay. not let it dry to a hard edge. You want it kind of still that slightly out of focus thing going on. Look, there we are. And then bleeding that into the green. Yeah, that's lovely. More damp brushes, bit of blending. And when that dries, you see, then, you know, I might put a little bit more up here. See how it's looking a bit strong here now? <laughs> this is going to run away now, isn't it? <laughs> I'll put some here. Oh, I better put some over here. Oh, I better put some behind here. Um, I might just extend that I a little bit. I don't know. Bit. I don't think it needs any more. Oh, just, oh, just a little bit here. Because then it kind of just, just flows in across the back. And then you can put a little, little highlight on those berries as well. So once again, just a little bit with... Don't have that brush too damp. You just want to kind of have it so it blends a little. Oh, oh. oh. what did you do there? <laughs> Quick. 
Okay. Can you blend down? Blend down, it'll do. That's it. Well, tell me, what do you think? It's a holly jolly Christmas. It's a holly jolly it's Christmas. It's a holly jolly Christmas. So, look, I'll just quickly take that off from one side, give you an idea. So now, oh, I magic. see. see I see a, 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 um, a face from the past. Face from the past. James Davis. I haven't. Ah. He. I used to work with him in Bath years oh, and years oh, ago. Okay, great. Well, welcome Bath. Welcome the world. Uh, yeah, I've just taken these off, but I'll just quickly take that off. But it gives you an idea. Once because you've masked that off, you've got a nice crisp border mm. there for your Christmas present. Um, whoever you're going <laughs> to make one for. Um, but yeah, let's let's leave it at that. What do you think? Does that sound good? Um, pictures on the side. There we are. So oh, yeah, um. What were we going to say about pictures on the side? Yeah, looks yeah, great. Let's just, yeah, let's, this is what we're doing here, darling. We're just promoting the, the, the work of the great Simon Roberts painting in France, uh, painting a kind of Christmassy scene based on a number of photographs. Something that we, you would never, ever paint if you were on holiday here. <laughs> never <laughs> seen a Robin. <laughs> no, not, uh, no painting holidays will include Robins. I'm sorry, that's an out of the question. Uh, but, so we've just... I basically to recap, I've done the drawing based on these two photographs. I've preferred that position with Robin, but uh, that branch looked a little bit mean, so we went for the holly with a bit of snow. And I've done the drawing and added some light, soft background, and have intensified the colour in the foreground. And then we'll take it from there. But what I will do, I'm going to put a little bit more blue in here and there just to kind of balance that out. And perhaps you see, where you've got a darker blue, you've got to put a few little random snowflakes on there which will make it quite nice and as I said you'll all be getting this um, as a Christmas card later this week okay so thanks okay. so very much indeed so this is the point where we wish everybody a very happy Christmas this is the point where Monica and myself wish you a yeah, very Merry Christmas let's hope it's uh, as good as we can make it we are, just a reminder, we're not going to be on next week on the run-up. I think a lot of people are going to be running around no, on that. next Tuesday, but there will be a special holiday appearance between Christmas and New Year. Probably on a Tuesday, I think it was the 29th. 29th, yeah. So let's um, see what everyone's in the mood for uh, right about then. So it's a Merry Christmas from Simon. And it's a Happy New Year from me. It's a Merry Christmas <laughs> from me. Okay, guys. And... And it's a me. Merry Christmas from Millie. Merry Christmas. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Cheerio. Thanks Thank you. See you again soon. Bye. Bye now.